What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today we're going to show you how to use VLC Media Player to convert media files into different files. So that would be say we're going to convert an MKV file into an MP4 or something like that. So if you're having trouble doing that, make sure to stick around to the end of the video and you'll be able to do this step by step yourself on your own computer and you'll be converting files in no time. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel if this helps you out. Smash that like button and turn on them post notifications. You're notified every time I come out with a brand new video. Also, check out the affiliate links below if you want some cool tech gear, PC gear, all types of stuff. Check it out and let's get right into this video. Okay, so we're going to open up VLC Media Player. If you don't have it already, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Or you can just Google VLC Media Player Download. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, this is what it looks like when you open it up, guys. Now, this does a lot more than just converting files. But that's all we're going to be doing in this video. I'm going to make a whole VLC Media Player tutorial soon. So we'll be looking back on the channel for that. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to click on the Media button here. We're just going to come down to convert slash save. Once we click that, first thing we got to do is click add. And this is going to bring you to your file explorer. And you can just figure it, go look for whatever file you want to bring in. Okay, now as you can see here, I'm hovering over this. It says it is a MKV file. Now, the video editing software that I use isn't letting me um, bring in MKV files for some reason. I don't know why, but we got a fix for that. So if you guys are having trouble with that, this will definitely fix it. Um, let's go ahead and bring this MKV file in. Okay, next thing we're going to do is click convert slash save. And once you click it, uh, the next thing I like to do is just come down to destination file. So this is basically where you want to save it to. Um, I'm just going to save it to videos. And it's going to bring it here. Now after that, you're going to want to make sure you're selected on the convert button right here. And you just come down a little bit to profile. And they got a bunch of different profiles you can choose from. As you can see, they got MP4, WebM, TS, um, mp4 h.265 got ogg asf a lot of different ones you can even convert them into cds right but for this video we're just using the h.264 mp4 and once you got it all picked you just click start and you can see at the top it says converting file and you just wait for this cursor to get all the way to the end and then you look in your folder and it will be in your folder saved as an mp4 file same exact video and you'll be good to go um, if your audio is not going correctly um, I can't think of it off the top of my head uh, I'll, I'll make another video about this but if I haven't came out with it by the time you're watching this video or just YouTube VLC media player not converting audio in my video or something along those lines and it should bring you up to some YouTube videos and it'll show you exactly how to do it. It's really not that hard. I've done it before, but I can't remember exactly where to go. Now I think that about does it guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. Check out the links in the description below. Also I got a link down there for IP Vanish VPN. If you don't have a VPN, they got some crazy deals going on right now with my affiliate link below. Give that a look if you're interested. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.